Hello everyone, this is Jenny Fern and today I'd like to share a gardening video with y'all. This one is focusing on some preparation for like building out permaculture guilds, um, which are just like plantings usually around a tree or fruit, fruit tree um, and they kind of support each other and represent different layers of uh, a food forest. So that's my basic understanding. This first clip is unrelated. This is me mulching the area that I stole all of the leaves from with some shredded paper. And then I also mowed the lawn and I added some lawn clippings uh, above there too. I also harvested some radishes, which was nice to do. Um, I always leave, well, this might not be true, I try to leave some of what um, I've planted to go to seed so that I have an abundance of seeds so that I can then be really indiscriminate with planting later. But I, I took some radishes and I left a few in to go to seed. So I tried to grow some hawthorns from seed. I took some of the berries from a tree <laughs> uh, in kind of like a park <laughs> and um, I thought it might be nice to grow some hawthorns. So I put the berries into this little pot and left them over the winter and four little things sprouted up and I thought maybe these are hawthorns. <laughs> I really don't know. I've looked at images um, of hawthorn seedlings and I cannot tell if this is just like a, a version of that or if it's not. It might very well be a weed that I'm planting out into the garden. We will see if it grows into a tree. Um, but anyway, I put these on either side of the back gate because I thought that might be nice. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really know that much about the trees other than when I first looked into it, um, whether or not I wanted to grow them out, I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> so I think they're kind of like roses. Um, I think I think they're in the rose family and um, I think they kind of behave like that. So anyway, if you know for sure what this plant is or if it is not a hawthorn, uh, please let me know. This is what they look like. Um, and I did notice when I dumped the plants out that there was one whole uh, hawthorn berry thing in there, uh, but only one. And I don't know how many I put in here, uh, but it, it like wasn't degraded at all. So anyway, I threw that in the bottom of this hole that I dug over here. So if, it, if these are not indeed Hawthorne, maybe I'll get one eventually. Who knows? So um, the topic of this video is the whole um, starting some permaculture guilds, um, some fruit tree guilds. And I want to talk a little bit about that. And so recently, I've just been watching a lot of videos from other folks uh, about they're kind of already established guilds, and I just think they're so cool. They look so cool, and I feel like they're an interesting way to start planting out an area. So I have these cuttings, these little trees um, that I started from cuttings. This, one's a, this one is a willow, and I'm not sure how well it'll do throughout the summer, but it is now starting to get all green and beautiful. Um, I didn't know that it had actually survived for a while, for a while, so... I also have some roses and some, um, an olive and yeah, those were all started from cuttings. Um, so anyway, I decided to start growing some, um, rhubarb and some cardoon. Those are both perennials. I had a rhubarb growing in the front yard that just, at some point, I think it was kind of dry and I, I think some bugs ate it down. The cardoon is still alive, but not exactly thriving right now. So we'll see how that goes, um, giving, given some time. 
So I'm starting some some new ones because I would like to grow them in the backyard as well. And I, I need to start an additional rhubarb because I think I would like to have more than one. Um, and with these, the soil is pretty dry. So I am using, this is rainwater. Um, we had this really weird like torrential downpour um, the night before. It was massively um, uh, like it all fell out at once. Um, and it was, it was very interesting to see the morning after though, everything was like totally fine, except for, I think one fava bean kind of fell over. I think I might even show that later in this video. So these are some cuttings from a lavender in the front yard. I just watched a video from Park Rose Permaculture where she, um, takes cuttings of an old lavender or a lavender plant and um, propagates it. And I'm not sure if I'm doing exactly what you're supposed to do there, but I'm trying to propagate some lavender. So I took some cuttings with some harder material at the bottom and some leaves at the top. And I really did trim down the leaves quite a bit um, so that they don't dry out super easily. I don't know how this is going to work. So some of them I plugged into soil um, to kind of baby, and then some of them I just plugged straight into the ground um, to see if they pop up where I want them. So I put them over by the, um, the olive because I've been thinking around this olive of having like a little Mediterranean guild I do live in a Mediterranean climate in uh, California, and um, the Mediterranean plants do quite well. So I have an olive here, and I'm planting in lavender. Uh, in the winter, this area is actually pretty shady. It's under the big oak tree, but in the summer, it gets quite hot and quite dry. So... I am interested to see what this will do, how well these things will do. The, I think it's a lemon tree over there is really, really sad looking. Um, and I'm just kind of seeing how that pans out. Um, I'm also propagating some rosemary to maybe go into that same area. Um, I feel like rosemary and lavender are kind of in a similar vein in terms of the layer that they occupy. <clears throat> so I might put the lavender somewhere else, or the rosemary somewhere else. Um, but anyway, uh, I actually took these two lavenders as cuttings from my old house. Um, so I, I know that I can, I think I keep saying lavender when I mean rosemary. <laughs> I'm not sure. I might be getting a little confused. Anyway, um, these were propagated from my old house. Um, so I know that it is possible. And I feel like with rosemary, it's actually quite easy. So I took some of the harder stems uh, and just plugged them into some soil. And I'm going to baby these a little bit. I'm not going to plug these straight into the ground. Um, yeah, so I've, I've, been, I've been doing some tree stuff, some perennial stuff recently planting out um, some seedling trees. I planted out um, an apple tree recent. I, I actually planted out two, I think. Um, and then I have some plums or apricots. I don't know exactly which they are that I've also been planting out. I have <laughs> probably too many of these. Um, but anyway, I put one in the front yard and I put one back in this leaf area. I also put one of the apple trees back here. So I'm very excited. Um, I'm th trying to think about plants that I might want to have growing below these fruit trees. Right now they're so small that I'm not really putting that much around them um, because I think they'll, they will um, not be able to compete very easily um, this young. But eventually I'll be putting out some different um, I don't know, like bushes and uh, ground covers and I don't know about vines, but you know, all of the different layers 
um, that you can grow in. So that's what I've been up to. It's pretty exciting. Um, if you have any channel recommendations that do a lot of those like guild videos, I would love that. Uh, I've been really enjoying the Edible Acres videos about guilds. Um, they've been really inspiring. <laughs> and I'd also love any videos where it's kind of like slow, um, not showing the end product of uh, making some guilds because I am in that very initial stage. So anyway, I think that's about it for today. Um, as always, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy your day.